this Tito back with another Windows 11 video and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the fix of AMD CPUs. If you have no idea what I am talking about, the Windows 11 updates has been throttling down AMD CPUs quite a lot like the Ryzen's, Ryzen first generation, the second generation also the third generation Ryzen's has been performing really really bad when compared to Windows 10's performance I would say. So right now in Windows 11, AMD has officially rolled out a fix and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how can you get the fix for your AMD processor computer or your laptop, whatever you have and you can get pretty much almost everything fixed in Windows 11 with your AMD CPU right now. So first, let me show you which build I'm on right now of Windows 11. As you can see, I'm currently on this 22,000.282 Windows 11 Pro build over here. This is the version 21H2. And here I have installed the beta channel build. So yeah, this is the latest build of Windows 11 as of right now for me. And you can see I have this 5600X processor right here. And I have 32 gigs of RAM and stuff. So to get the fix, first thing that you do is search on Google AMD drivers. Once you search that, you just get this kind of page and just click on this AMD drivers and support. Once you go into it, so from here, I'll just select this chipset and I'll go into this AM4 because I know my motherboard is a AM4 motherboard. And from here, I'll just select this B550 over here because my motherboard is a B550 Oros Pro AC Gigabyte motherboard. So I'll just click on submit. And from here, you will get this Windows 11 64 bit edition. Just click on that. Then over here, you will find this particular driver. This is the 3.10.08.506. This is the newer driver. You can see the release date over here. This is the 21st October 2021 build. And let me show you the old driver from my motherboard's driver kind of page. And over here, if you're noticing this AMD chipset driver, here it shows OS Windows 11 64 bit as well as Windows 10 64 bit. So here, if you are looking at the driver version, this is the 3.08.06.148. Again, this is the old driver. The newer driver is this one, 3.10.08.506. And here, if you're looking at the old driver's build date, this is the 13th October 2021 build. And here, the newer one is the 21st October 2021. So this is the driver you should download. So just click on download on this particular AMD's website. So once you have downloaded the driver, you will get this particular exe file, which will say AMD chipset software and it will say the version as well. You just double click on it and here click on run, then it will be extracted. So wait for the time being. Once it gets extracted, it will show you this kind of software installer, chipset software installer kind of window. It's going to check your PC's hardware compatibility and then it will show a window like this. Do not click on anything. Just click on install from right here. Your drivers will be installed. I have already installed the drivers, so I'm not going to do that. And after installation, you have to reboot your PC once. That will be prompted by this software installer, of course. Right now, I'm not going to be installing this because I already have installed it, but you have to install this from right here. So right now, I'm going to just cancel it. Now, let me show you the benchmarks when compared to the previous Windows 11 with previous like chipset driver updates and right now. So let me show you the Geekbench score difference between these two Windows 11 updates or two chipset driver updates. And here are the difference. On the left side, this is the October 16th date score. And on the right side, this is the October 22nd date score. And on the left side, this was with the old chipset driver on Windows 11, of course. With the same PC, I have got about 1517 single core score. And as you can see on the newer one, I have got 1619 single core score. So you can see straight up 100 points plus difference on the single core score only. Then if you look at the multi-core score, there is a huge difference. As you can see, I have got 7716 points earlier with the multi-core score. And right now I have got 8354 score. So that is a huge almost like 500 plus or 600 plus points of difference, I would say. So there is your performance that was gone with Windows 11 with the AMD CPUs. So here you can straight up see the difference between both of these cores. And yes, the performance right now has been really, really improved. Also, I did a Antutu benchmark test. Right now, Antutu is available for PCs as well. On the left side, it's 1.1 million. And on the right side, it's about 1.14 million. So that simply means that you are going to get amazing amount of improvements. So that is a pretty drastic improvement if you're looking at just the CPU score. So on the left side again, if you're just looking at the CPU score, 4,58,797. And on the right side, if you're looking at the CPU score, I've got 5,17,009. 
So that is almost 50,000 plus points of improvements I would say. And here are the differences between the multi-core and the single core score of Cinebench R23. And these are the new scores that I have got. Don't mind these two scores because these are like on the same. But I was thinking that this is a lower point. That's why I did the test again on the multi-core score. This is not the like grayed out one is not the older kind of score. This is the newer score. The older score you can see from the screen. So that is a, again huge drastic difference in the newer kind of chipset driver update. I've got huge improvement in the multi-core score almost like 500 plus points I would say and in the single core score again you can see the difference. So yeah this is a pretty huge improvement I would say than it was previously. So AMD Ryzen CPUs has finally been fixed to use on Windows 11 right now. And talking about gaming, well, I didn't see much difference because I usually play at locked FPS, but I can pretty much see a huge difference in gaming as well right now. So yeah, right now, all the issues which were there with the AMD CPUs almost has been fixed in my personal opinion. So that was it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please share this video with your friends if you want them to know how to get the fix and stuff with the AMD processor and Windows 11. Again, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.